Taylor, how did you drink a gallon of water every day? My brain feels like it is swimming around in there, just chilling, doing lengths. My brain is not used to that. <laughs> but here we are, baby. Mm, we're loving it. We're loving it. I'm in a robe. Like, when do I do this? Like, who am I? Like, what's going on? I just want to have fun with this. I don't want to stress about it. I just want to share my honest, open experience with you all. Tell you all about my journey, trying out the 75 hard challenge, why I liked it, why I didn't like it. Let's dive the heck into it. About 80 days ago or so, I'll talk quite literally here, I was bumping along on YouTube, you know, doing my thing, and I happened to stumble upon a video on my recommended page that was titled, My Journey with the 75 Hard Program. And I was like, what in the hecking heck is the 75 Hard Program? Program. It honestly kind of sounded like some sort of intense marine training program, like way too intense for my liking. But of course, it was probably some random boring day in quarantine, like many of the other days in quarantine. So I decided to watch the video and immediately I was fascinated. My initial thoughts about this program were, oh hell no. No, 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 no. This is not it. This sh is not for me. I am not the kind of person to do this kind of program. Like no way, big old N-O. And then I kind of had this, you know, aha moment and my alter ego, we'll call her Shigo, comes out of nowhere and she says, <clears throat> Taylor, Taylor, oh no. Oh heckity no, you're doing this shit just because you told yourself you were not going to do it. Thank you, Shigo. Basically 75 Hard is this free program that a man named Andy Frisella created and essentially the idea behind the program is to quote unquote win the war over yourself. Is that a direct quote? I don't remember. If you're like me, you might immediately jump ship. It just kind of sounded like somebody was trying to sell something to me and I and I don't like that. I don't like that. But past all of like the marketing antics of it all, basically the program is designed for you to gain willpower over the part of you that's stopping you from becoming the most you you can be. Like you know the phrase like you need to get out of your own way? Essentially that's kind of the basis of this program. So with the 75 hard program, basically you have a requirement to do six different daily tasks, rules, requirements, whatever you want to call them every single day for, you guessed it, 75 days. The six tasks, that's so hard to say, the six tasks that you need to do every single day are drink an entire gallon of water, do not drink any alcohol or have any cheat meals, stick to a diet that is going to help you achieve your goals, take a progress picture of yourself, read 10 pages every single day, and last but not least, do two 45 minute workouts per day. Now, if only it would be that easy, ha ha ha, thank you Andy. There's also a little bit of fine print that comes along with each of the six tasks. So, the fine print essentially says, you have until you go to bed every single day to complete the tasks. So there's no set time limit. As long as you're awake, the day still counts. One of your workouts must be outdoors. Both of them can be outdoors, but at least one of them has to be outdoors. Audiobooks do not count for your daily reading. And last, and probably most importantly, in the program, if you fail at any point of completing any of the six tasks, you must start back to day one. Straight back to the freaking beginning. <laughs> That's probably the most motivating factor throughout the entire program. It is definitely the most challenging aspect of it because if you don't complete all six of the tasks, then your 75 days is back to the beginning. Now, let me tell you why I exactly did not want to do this program whatsoever. I will admit I was a ginormous skeptic of this program. Ha. <laughs> Honestly, I just did not love the idea of restriction. I've always been a huge advocate for rest days, recovery days, and honestly, kind of everything about it just kind of sounded horrible. You know, if we're being honest, it just does not sound fun at all. <laughs> but then I just realized I needed to do this for myself. I am constantly coming up with excuses for things I just don't want to do because I'm just downright lazy. Like no other freaking reason other than just my lazy 
like that's just it. I do all of these workout challenges on my channel all the darn time, but like I wasn't prioritizing myself. I wasn't doing the challenges for myself. I was doing it for results or I was doing it for you. How is that good for anybody's mental health? And in the end, I just wasn't happy. And like, that's the damn truth. So I put on my saddle and I decided, let's give her a go, baby, 75 hard. <laughs> I essentially wanted to not only do this for my mental health, but kind of to be like a guinea pig for you all. I honestly don't think that this is a program for everybody. And I stand behind that even after completing it. But I absolutely encourage you, please, 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 if this is something that you are even thinking about, please do your research outside of this video. I am in no way certified. I'm just sharing my own personal experience from this program. I love you all. All, be smart, be safe. Thank you. <laughs> Twisty Tay's tips and tricks. Drinking a gallon of water every single day. If you've watched my channel for a little bit of time, you might know that this is something that I already had incorporated into my daily routine. I randomly decided to drink a gallon of water every single day back in February. I happened to document it all and I really liked the experience. So I've been drinking a gallon of water every single day since. I promise it's very doable once you get used to it. I think it is probably a little bit easier when you're in quarantine and you're near the bathroom a lot more often. My biggest tip would honestly be making it extremely easy for yourself to succeed. And I'll probably repeat that throughout the rest of this video like 87 times. Just make it so simple, you don't even have to think about it. If you literally need a full gallon sized water bottle because you don't even want to think about how many times you have to refill that puppy. Get yourself a big old effing water bottle. I stand by it. I love it. I will probably drink a gallon of water in my grave. I don't know. If you're one of my younger audience members or you're somebody who has just never drank in a gallon of water before, just pace yourself throughout the day. Do not drink more than I believe 33 ounces in one hour. Just be safe, be smart. And especially if you're very young, I probably wouldn't even recommend you have a gallon to begin with. Next up, we have no alcohol. Now this may be hard for you or it could be really easy depending on your lifestyle choices. Maybe your age, you're 18, 19, 21, wherever the heck you are in the world. I just love drinking more in the summertime. Like something about the summer just makes me want to drink a cold beer with my friends, have a nice cocktail on the porch. I don't even have a porch, but you get my point. And also just quarantine in general sometimes just brings out the wine in me. I think the biggest challenge with no alcohol is just social settings, but honestly, just try not to be the party pooper in the room that's like, I'm on a diet, so no alcohol for me today. Just, I don't know, plan ahead. I think planning ahead is the biggest tip I will give for the entire program. Planning ahead is what is going to allow you to succeed in everything, especially with alcohol. Sticking to a diet. Now I'm also just gonna tag along cheat meals with this one as well. Now this one I actually applaud Andy Frisella for tying in because it is intentionally vague and I do really appreciate that because everybody's body is so darn different. I encourage you to just do whatever diet plan works best for you. The idea is that you're doing a diet that helps you achieve your goals. Now maybe some people don't always agree with this but the idea behind removing the cheat meals is just because maybe sometimes Cheat meals don't help you reach your goals. I've never really been big on cheat meals to begin with. I don't really eat fast food. I barely eat out to begin with. So when I do have those things, it's pretty rare and it kind of just makes me want to like sit on the toilet for the rest of the day to begin with. I wanted to try and make my diet as sustainable as possible past the 75 days. So when this program is over, I'm not just like, Ooh, deer in headlights, I don't know how to eat anymore. What I chose to do was just eat smarter, eat healthier, eat more balanced green meals with more vegetables because I never really eat vegetables. I just tried to think of it as what are all the things that I actually can eat and focus on that rather than focus on what I can't eat. I do think overall my mood has significantly improved. I'm in a really good mood all of the time. I don't feel as sluggish. I think that probably has to do with working out all of the time and all of the endorphins that I'm constantly releasing and also because I'm not putting as much sugar in my body. Reading 10 pages a day. Now this sounds 
sounds like probably so easy for so many people. To me, I'm just not that strong of a reader, so it wasn't something I was absolutely looking forward to. I've come to love it, and I know for a fact it's something I will absolutely be carrying on past the 75 days of this program. I think in a really sad way, school sort of made me resent reading. There was never enough time for free reading. I would have homework, and then I'd have reading to do for my classes, and then I'd have assignments. Like, there wasn't free time for free time, and if there was free time, I was on my phone. Like, I didn't want to be seen your textbook, which makes me so darn sad because the smartest people in the world are readers. Like, maybe open a book, Taylor. This is the first one that I finished already. It's called The Happiness Project. Now I'm on to the infamous Becoming by Michelle Obama. I feel like I'm just trying to learn a lot from her. And then I think when I'm finished with Becoming, if I still have the time, I'm gonna be reading this one book on the Enneagram. Taking a picture of yourself every single day. Honestly, I think it's a lot more about the discipline of the task than really taking a picture. The thought of completing the task that you set your mind to, and you're doing the same thing every single day for 75 days. And at the end of it, it's kind of cool that you do have a flip book to look back on, but I honestly don't think that's the point. Now the part you might be most interested in, the workouts. As I mentioned, you have to do two 45 minute workouts every single day for 45 minutes each. Also, as I said in the fine print, at least one of these workouts needs to be outdoors. Now let's just talk about that one right here, right now. Personally, my biggest suggestion is doing the 45 minute outdoor workout as an outdoor walk. I think it is the easiest way to get your 45 minute workout in. It is the smartest way to do it when you're thinking about this as a marathon not a sprint. 75 days, folks. That's two and a half months. And honestly, if we're being smart with ourselves here, you do not need to be doing two intensive workouts every single day, two times a day. That is not safe. It's probably not that smart. And maybe if you're doing that, you might be an athlete of some sort, in which case I commend you. For me, for maybe the average Joe, go on a walk, go on a walk. Honestly, it's one of the only reasons I even left my apartment for a lot of quarantine. And I never come back feeling like, I'm so mad I went on a walk. Really? In regards to doing two workouts every single day, my biggest suggestion is to just do a workout split. You're doing your legs on Monday, you're doing your arms on Tuesday, you're doing cardio on Wednesday. You just have to be really smart with your workout routine to make sure that you're taking care of your body. This was something I was pretty nervous about just because I love rest days. I think they're very smart for your body. And something I just kind of learned to do throughout the program was if I really didn't want to do a workout, my body was just not there. I just decided to do two walks that day. Or maybe I did my outdoor walk and I did yoga and I just did something that was a little bit more gentle. Do not push yourself past your limits. Do not be stupid. We do not want to be stupid people here. The idea of working out every single day is to get yourself past the bullshit. I know I'm fully capable of doing the workout. I just am too freaking lazy. I think the only part about the workouts that kind of tripped me up was that you had to work out for 45 minutes each session. I don't personally think that you need 45 minutes to get a good workout in. Overall, some downsides. I, again, do not recommend this program to everybody. I don't think it is smart for everybody to do. I think you need to be the own judge of whether or not this is something that is right for you or not. I think there are a lot of other ways to do something for your mental health rather than something so extreme like this. I do think it's a really great program because I'm feeling so good about myself now that I'm done with it. But honestly, if you're watching this video because you want to lose weight and this is the main reason you're interested in doing this program, do not do this program. Absolutely not. The main point of this program is all about your mentality, your willpower, winning the war with yourself. Honestly, losing weight is just kind of a supplementary thing that comes along with 75 hard. It truly is not the goal. It is not the objective. A lot of times it comes along with the fact that you're drinking more water, you're removing alcohol, you're probably eating a lot better, you're working out twice a day. If you're looking for like the next best fitness program, honestly look somewhere else. I think another huge downside is that it's something that is so time consuming. Even if you wake up super early in the morning and you get your workout done right away and you drink a lot of your water in the morning and you take your picture right away, you still have to wait until the very end of the day to check off the fact that you ate a clean diet and you stuck to your diet and you didn't have any alcohol. Like that's not something you can cross off until you go to bed. And I think that's another thing that kind of drove me mad was that the program consumed my mind every single second for the past 75 days. It was literally all I thought about. 
and it was definitely difficult when I would think about like my plans for the weekend and I'd have to think ahead on how I could manage my schedule to make sure I was able to get my workout done and not bother anybody else by having to make them go on the outdoor walk with me, you know? Even with the time constraints, I think it is extremely doable. Even if you do have a full nine to five job, I used to get up at four in the morning to get my workout in before I'd even start my work day. Like there are ways to make these things happen. I'm so proud of myself. I knew deep down somewhere I could accomplish this, but I just didn't really know when, how, where, why? And I think at the beginning, it just felt like this ginormous thing and I didn't know how I would ever get to the 75th day. I'm proud of myself for just rocking it and crushing it. And honestly, if I can do it, then you absolutely can do it. Trust me when I say I am so darn lazy. I struggle for motivation. I struggle to literally take my hand out of the chip bag drop the pretzels right there and then because I love them so much. In the end, ironically, like I said, physical benefits just happen to come as a result of positive mental benefits. I did happen to lose a significant amount of weight, which I'm really happy about. I think it was something that I wasn't really expecting. I've heard a lot of people can lose a lot more than I lost, but honestly, I wasn't really focusing on the number. And if I was, like I mentioned, I would have been doing a different program. But honestly, if you're sitting there and you're questioning it and you're questioning yourself and you know you're fully capable and you're in a healthy mindset to get started on a program like this, know that you can do it. Know that I believe in you. If I can do it, you can absolutely do it. Little things that definitely helped me out. I made a full list for myself on pen and paper because that's the way I like to operate with a checklist for every single day from day one to day 75. This is something that honestly I just knew was going to help me a whole bunch. Maybe it's something that you might like to do too. I just knew I needed some sort of system to keep me in track. I believe there's also a 75 hard app if you like technology a little bit more. I'm a pen and paper kind of gal. There's also so many templates on I think the 75 hard website and also Andy Frisella's Instagram page that you can screenshot. You can make it your background on your phone. You can print it out for yourself. Do little things like that that will make it full proof for you to succeed. Also just plan ahead. Like if you know you have a really busy day, make a schedule for yourself. Make sure that you don't let little environmental things affect your success in the program. That's literally, literally the point. And lastly, don't cheat yourself. If you know that you messed up on day nine, even if you go to the 75th day, you didn't do it. You know in your heart of hearts you cheated on day nine. So why would you keep going? Don't cheat yourself because that's literally all you're cheating it's just yourself oh my golly i've been talking for so long please let me know if you have any other questions leave them in the comments below follow me on instagram dm me on instagram if you have more questions i also did an entire podcast episode on this and probably will make another one just answering more of your questions next week so stream my podcast anywhere that you stream podcasts i love you all thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video please leave a comment down below telling me your favorite type of pretzel I think I've asked this question before, but it needs to be repeated. Also, tell me your ultimate cheat day meal because that video is coming soon. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Oh my God, my cheeks, they hurt. They hurt from talking.